Welcome back on this very windy, rainy day. I have had two deliveries today, one of which I was expecting. The other I had completely forgotten that I had bought, but Black Friday happened. And now normally, on principle, I'm anti-Black Friday, but just let that go for a second because someone's gonna offer me cheap plants any day of the year. Looks like I'll take it. Let's take a look at what I got. I'll work out what actually needs to be done today uh, and we will get on with it. So let me show you in this box. Now, it's been slightly hacked open because I also had a couple of poinsettias in there which have gone straight inside. What have I got in here? Let me show. This beautifully packaged. <laughs> you see, order form will show me what I've actually got in here. So I do have myself. Yeah, the chickens do what they want now. <laughs> I was going to do some jet washing in the rain, but these guys have appeared and are now eating bits of tape. Hello. <laughs> they do what they want. I've got a couple of eucalyptus. That's those. And then back here, I've got prickly ones, machining a gooseberry. I've also got some red currants in there. What actually is it? I've got joster berries, gooseberries, and red currants. So that should be what's in there. I think everything. I think everything in this one is in a pot. So I think I'm just going to bung those into the uh, cold frames for now, and we'll circle back to that on a less breezy day. I'm just hiding in the windbreak of the of the stables right now. But in this one, this is the one that I had forgotten that I ordered. This is a bag of bare root strawberries so these I do need to do something with so let's get those put away and then we'll move on to dealing with these and you guys can back off mm. <laughs> not for you I'm not rushing to put these girls away today because they're actually doing me a bit of a service clearing out all this green that's appeared as you were excellent job this is a silver crest pine um, I've been on a bit of an evergreen propagating spree so these big old spruces over here they drop their cones and then the trees just start growing out of the riding area we've got there so oh, I'm trying to work out a way that you cannot be windy basically I dig those up before I mow over the grass and I've potted them up uh, so I've got a few babies on the go and I have one from last year which I'll show you it's out there this one is one that I dug up last year so it's put on about a foot of growth in a year which I think is pretty good um, and I'm loving the idea of being able to use these trees to make more trees because they're like my favourite bit of this land they're the only proper trees you know big trees established trees that we've got so um, yeah I'm aiming for more of those so I've quite done a few more of those I also took a few cuttings off of our Christmas tree uh, which is a fir of some kind, I do know the answer. Fraser Fair? I'll put it here if that's not right. Yeah, so we went to our local Christmas tree farm, which is uh, where you go and you walk around and then they, you know, chop one down for you once you've chosen what you want. So we got that chopped down. Same day I took a few cuttings off of that just on the lower branches that I thought we wouldn't miss. And I've potted those up as well. So I've got some firs, that new little pine and some spruces that I'm trying to propagate. And hopefully I can make a little bit of a evergreen thicket here. Anyway, that's totally off topic. Okay, so I'm gonna add these new these new bits into this cold frame just while I'm here. As you can see I've got some strawberries. These came from runners from my mother's garden. So thanks mum. In here, this is baby sage plant. This is thyme. I've got some asparagus that's still going. So I'm just gonna leave those in those pots for now and then I'll plant them out in the spring. Uh, nothing in there. Some yarrow. Anyway, so I'm gonna add it in here. And hopefully this will just be alright for, for now. So in here I've got, what is this? I don't even know what this is. This is a new time, just because all of mine have come from cutting the whites were a pearl of each. I've got a new specimen. Ow! These bruise. I've got a couple of eucalyptus here. Uh, so these four are just a berries and these five are red currants and I'll leave these in this cold frame over winter I think and then oh, they'll go out in the spring once our what is, any frost risk is gone right let's close right the gooseberries have been bumped up first 
they're going to go in at the porch purely because they're just a bit too tall. Ow! I need both hands for this. They're a bit too tall for the cold frame. So I'm going to take those up, put them in the porch, and then we'll get on with those strawberries. Away. You stupid dog. Move. So I'm chit-chatting away here about bare root strawberries but it turns out you can't hear anything I'm saying because of the bloody wind so I've had to resort to a voiceover land. So these strawberries were so cheap basically because they're out of season. Normally you would buy bare root strawberries maybe in early spring then you'd put them straight into either the ground or a pot where you want them to grow and they would start growing pretty much straight away whereas now because it is December I'm basically going to pot these up into small pots just for the next few months and then as soon as spring comes around I'll put them in their final place where I want them. I've never done it at this time of year before this way before so it's a little bit of an experiment but I figure they are dormant at this time of year so it shouldn't be a problem but hey ho I figure at this price then it was worth a go so we'll see how it goes. So the variety of these bare root strawberries are Cambridge favourite, which is a pretty well known variety here in the UK. My goal for them is ultimately I'm putting in a few beds down in the food forest for all of my perennial um, fruits and veggies. So this will be going in that area in the spring. So in an ideal world, I should have soaked these first before planting them up. I didn't do that, but hey ho. So I think the important point here that I'm trying to show is that I'm keeping that crown, the part where the roots meet the stems, at soil level. So I'm just holding that over the pot and then filling in the compost around the strawberry crown, keeping the roots under the soil and the crown just at soil level. Some of these bare roots look a lot healthier than others, but I went ahead and put them all up anyway and we'll see how many of them take. My compost is a little bit lumpy with bits of roots and bits and bobs in it um, because it's homemade but no worries I'm just pulling those bits out and I'll get back on the compost pile. It's trying to tap it up and do it outside where the light is better but whoo, it's bad out there. I'm going to crack on and get these done um, and then I'll bung them in the coal frames and then I think I'll probably end up just leaving them until early spring before they go out in the ground. I was talking about bare roots. I think, yeah, I, I think they're a good balance between, you can start strawberries from seed, but realistically, that's quite hard work. I have done it, but I started a lot of seeds to get sort of three or four that that, that came to. Um, and then because they were started inside, you then got to harden them off. It's all just a bit of a faff. Whereas you can buy full plants, but then you end up spending like as much as you would on strawberries on a plant. I know that the plant lasts a longer time and if you're going to do that maybe buy one or two and then take the runners that's a long game and that's fair enough but for the price of one plant you can probably get yourself 10 runner and um, 10 berries I and mean, it's just a lot quicker so it's just a little bit more work anyway I'm gonna crack on and get the rest of these done Again, I'm chit-chatting away and you definitely can't hear me over the wind. Um, so most of these I just put into various 9 to 11 centimetre pots. I am putting a few into this bigger pot because um, I figure I'll have that either up near the house or you know somewhere a bit easier to access and I just kind of want to see how they do in a pot so that's why I'm putting a few just in this big pot and then I'll leave them in there and see how they grow. The rest will all end up going in the ground or in a raised bed. I let my lesson with the storms this year that I cannot trust those um, 
greenhouses in high winds and we're having some pretty significant winds at the moment. So I don't want to put these in there lest I end up picking them off, off the floor tomorrow morning. Now some of these look better than others but that is just to be expected. I'll bung them in here and I'll leave them alone for the winter. Uh, I'd forgotten half that stuff was coming. Now I've just got a load of chickens back down, feed them again, and then I can go and have that cover. Here you coming, girls? Oh, I didn't get around to the jet washing today, but I think jet washing in the dark is asking a bit more than I'm willing to give at the moment. So I'll put that, I'll push that back onto tomorrow's list. Let's get these chickens in. Okay, that's all my chickens in. That's all my strawberries potted up. That's all of those new fruit bushes safely stored for the winter. <sighs> Good day. I'll keep you updated on how my pines and spruces and fir tree cuttings go. And I need to find a spot where I want to put those out once they are ready to be planted out. I'll keep taking cuttings off of those forever. And uh, get new ones and it'll just grow and grow it's a long game thing but looking forward to it anyway i'm gonna head in for that cuppa cheers guys